Nasir Abdulaziz Al Nasser is the UN High Representative of the Alliance of Civilizations. Uh, Mr. Al Nasser, uh, basically, what is the role of the Alliance of Civilizations? Well, uh, the role of the Alliance of uh, United Nations, of Civilization, the United Nations, is it is as a soft power tool to prevent conflicts and to defuse tensions. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your vision for the alliance? The vision, uh, uh, the alliance focused on four pillars, uh, education, youth, migration, and media. And then when I took over last uh, uh, March, I add to the mission of the alliance uh, mediation, arts, music, uh, entertainment, and sport. Okay. The alliance has been around for some time, but um, you haven't been a former president of the General Assembly and involved in international affairs. Um, what additional qualities do you bring to the alliance? Well, uh, uh, it's very challenging. Uh, mission and very challenging uh, position. Mm -hmm. As you know that I've been uh, working in the United Nations for so many years as uh, ambassador of Qatar to the UN 13 years as a president of the General Assembly and even during when I was ambassador I took uh, responsibility you know, on Security Council, I preside the Council, uh, I, uh, G77 in China, and other uh, UN organizations. I think with the skill that I gain mm -hmm. and experience during uh, these years, uh, I can add uh, to the work of the Alliance. The mission is very challenging, as I said, because it's, uh, it, it's really focused on different issues and after that at the end of the day the mission is to bring peace security and stability for the international community you said that since you took over you brought a couple other pillars to the work of the alliance of civilization how much progress have you made in doing so well uh, you see uh, now uh, in the last three months and a half we were working in uh, restructuring the work of the Alliance, especially building on the six uh, priorities of uh, the Alliance, which is uh, one is building on previous achievement, okay. second, partnership and cooperation on multilateral system, uh, number three, initiating complementary concepts. Uh, the Alliance can play uh, to prevent on using uh, mediation as a tool, as I told you. Right also role on the development agenda, you know, the uh, post-2015, uh, and then strengthening the financing uh, 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 structure for the alliance, increasing interaction with the media, civil society, and private sector. Okay. You know, um, we live in a, pred a world, a predominantly in a world of intolerance, xenophobia, marginalization, tensions, and conflict. Uh, what role can the Alliance play or is playing to make it a world that is more tolerable and equal? Uh, you see, the, the role of the Alliance, uh, especially uh, in the different cultures, we, uh, we are dealing as well with, you know, up, uh, 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 approaching uh, the religious leaders mm -hmm. to play a role, positive role, especially when there is uh, religious uh, tension Problems. and uh, xenophobia and, and encourage also uh, societies to focus on tolerance. I, I just came from Azerbaijan. I participate on a uh, very important uh, uh, conference with the president and I uh, inaugurate the uh, tolerance uh, center which is uh, built by uh, the government of Azerbaijan and this is where we are uh, uh, using uh, uh, responsible also media 
to 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 help us then to uh, uh, to play a, a positive role and uh, so uh, 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 reaching out to civil society uh, so they can also uh, play a positive role private sector uh, uh, it, it's, it is a very challenging mission, but uh, I only can talk uh, about myself, which is three months. It's, uh, it's really a short time, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I look forward really to, to be able to achieve what, uh, what's, uh, uh, what is my mandate. As you mentioned, Azerbaijan and that meeting, um, you mentioned in your speech in Azerbaijan something about uh, do one thing for diversity and inclusion, uh, that campaign. Yes. What is it all about? This is uh, to, to bring society together, uh, and uh, especially the international uh, community uh, uh, every year celebrate the culture of peace. Uh, and, and so this is part of what we are doing uh, on celebrating and uh, try to encourage uh, the society to, and even with the different backgrounds, different race, to work together uh, and to benefit from uh, cooperation and, and also uh, promoting uh, the culture of peace uh, around uh, societies in the world. There are major historical and political transformations uh, occurring in the Middle East, Asia, and beyond. How do these impact the efforts of the Alliance? You see, like what's happening in Syria today, it's really, it's worrying us because at the beginning it was a uh, call for democracy. We see today is becoming a, an ethnic uh, conflicts and it's very complicated and we we really uh, hope that a political uh, a political solution can help the situation in Syria to 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 stop uh, what's going on and then our role will come okay. to deal with civil society religious leader to bring the society together then then what we see today Shiites, Sunnis, Christian, Kurdis, others, uh, Alawai. Uh, and this is uh, uh, where the alliance, and of course tomorrow I am participating uh, on a working lunch uh, in the UN uh, to deal with uh, what's happening in Myanmar as well and to work out uh, a plan and, and proposal to the Secretary General how we can diffuse uh, what's happening uh, there between different ethnic uh, uh, groups. Uh, one final question, sir. With whom are you working to build, quote unquote, more peaceful communities throughout the world? Inside the UN or outside? Outside the UN, among in the country, various countries. Well, you see, uh, today I see it since I took over three months and a half. Many countries are approaching us. Uh, they believe on the mission of the Alliance of Civilizations. And they want to work with us as a partner to promote culture of peace, to promote diversity among societies. And because, like, uh, as I said in Azerbaijan, you know, w uh, I was amazed to see how the government are working closely with the societies to, to really live in harmony between Christian, Jews, and Muslims and to protect their heritage, to work as one society. This is what we need for the world. And I am really looking forward to, to increase my uh, relations with different uh, countries and different societies and private sector to achieve uh, this. Uh, especially, we live in a very diverse world today, and we should focus on promoting culture of peace. Mr. Abdulaziz Al-Nasser, thank you very much. Thank you.